Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Uh, this is Mustafa Ahmed, and in today's video, we'll continue with the well completion course. And this is the second video. Uh, you can check the playlist at my channel to uh, see the playlist from the beginning. In today's video, we'll talk about multilateral wills and uh, what is the multilateral wills, what are the types of multilateral wills and what the uh, categories of multilateral wills uh, so today's video will cover these things after you're done with this video check my telegram channel you can find the pdf of this course and also we are doing there an exam or a quick quiz so you can know if you understand this video or not after you answer the question there uh, i'll leave you the link at the description At the last video we stopped here, we talked about horizontal wells and uh, what the benefit of horizontal wells and you can check that in the previous video. And today we will continue with the same uh, extend reach well is the ratio of measured depths to true vertical depths. And if it's 3 or greater, uh, it's called mega reach. If it's 2.05, it's called Hypernia. Uh, and 5.4. And that's because measure depth is always greater than true vertical depth. Uh, multilateral wells uh, is defined as uh, the wells that trailed from a single well. As you can see here in this example, this is the vertical well. And these multilateral wells is drilled from the same well and uh, it has of course it has advantages and we'll see that in the next page and here are the types of multilateral wells uh, multi prime probed lateral and vertical hole uh, struct laterals lateral and horizontal and finally dual opposing laterals okay here is an example for multilateral wells uh, this is the main well the main port that is drilled and as you can see here it's cemented and cased uh, this is I think the third or the second level uh, and we'll talk about this uh, every in uh, the next page uh, this is this is the second well uh, that it's called the lateral well it drilled uh, from the main and they can drill another one here, another one here, uh, to reach a different target. The first multilateral well was drilled in Raja in 1953. And it has nine branches from the main port. This is the main port. And these are the branches. Increase exposure to, to the base zone by 5.5 times. Increase production by 17 times. And the capital expenditures are also increased to 1.5 times for I mean for the, the well, but uh, if we compare it with the benefit, uh, the production is increased 17 times and uh, increased exposure to base, to the base zone by 5.5. So it deserved to drill uh, these approaches for this well. Uh, so we have three cores to talk about when we drill any well, not only the multilateral well, the cost, production, and economics. Uh, but here for uh, multilateral wells, the cost uh, to be commercial, uh, the cost should be no no greater than fifty percent additional for each lateral, and the production uh, will be probably between. Uh, 30 to 60 improvement over horizontal well and economics should be uh, improved by approximately 40 percent here are the advantages and disadvantages for uh, multilateral wells and technical advantages is increased 
reservoir exposure and increase the conductivity to the reservoir to reduce water conning and gas conning uh, and sanding potential uh, and we talked about this in the previous video when we talked about the horizontal wheels and how can uh, it reduce uh, the water and gas coin and of course it's more efficient economic advantages uh, no added cost for the main pour at the surface equipment and if you can notice the set the surface equipment here are the same and for for each single well and here we will use only the tools to make this well deviated for example uh, so the the surface equipment will be the same no additional slope used on offshore platform smaller platform due to degrees surface equipment the disadvantages of multilateral wells are also technical and economical uh, technical disadvantages are well intervention is more complicated and uh, of course that will be complicated because as you can see here uh, we have to use special tools to drill these branches and special tools has to be used to done this process increase drilling risk uh, increased problems to control the well while creating additional uh, laterals and increase the pre the economic disadvantage is happened only if we lose the main pore and lower laterals so let's talk about the categories of multilateral wells uh, the first the first level of multilateral wells when the open hole when the main pore and uh, this is the main pore this is the main port and this is the lateral and you can see both of them are open and we use this option when we have hard uh, formation uh, this is the second level and the main port as you can see it's cased and cemented and the lateral well is open hole the third level when the main port is cased and cemented but the lateral is cased without case without cemented and this is the fourth level and here is level five the main pore and uh, the lateral is cased and cemented uh, it looks like the level four but the difference here is that uh, pressure in uh, integrity uh, at the junction achieved by completion equipment uh, in level 6 the pressure uh, integrity at the junction achieved by casing uh, as you can notice uh, here uh, these formations are isolated by uh, the uh, completion equipment but here these formations are isolated by uh, the casing so this is the difference between level 5 and level 6 this is what i have for today thank you for watching and see you in another video